Who is she? Is she still in the house? What's wrong with you? We know what's wrong with you. And boom. We are live. Welcome, folks, to the American Movie Podcast. Today, we are going over this book called Aroused. Now, it sounds sexual in nature, um, and it kind of is, but not really. So this is The History of Hormones and How They Control Just About Everything by Randy Epstein. Now, this is this was a good book. It was um, it's about 300 pages, 250 pages. Let's see. Um, 256 pages. So this is about the, the history of the hormones and the endocrine system and how endocrinology came about and how it was, um, it was kind of parsed together slowly. And then it kind of, uh, removed the balkanization of specialized medicine and kind of brought them together. So if you don't know, hormones um, come from glands and they're part of the endocrine system themselves and they act as they're wireless. So it's like a little drop of this hormone can in the brain or something can then signal in the body to do something else. Uh, so f for example, in the like sex organs, it will have some sort of response in the sex organ. So it'll just travel across and it's just like this small teeny tiny drop. And it used to be not measurable. Like up until the 1960s, this stuff couldn't get measured. That's not that long ago. I'm blown away. So anyway, so the beginning is kind of the introduction into it and the hormones and the glands, the endocrine system, uh, they emit these things. And um, yeah, so it kind of functions as like, it wants to keep homeostasis inside the body. and It wants to keep baseline. It wants to keep normalcy. So it kind of all acts as if it's a musical number making a song. So, um, yeah, so she goes over like the most intense um, or integral parts of the body that are like the glands and everything. So it's like the hypothalamus, the pineal gland, the pituitary gland, the thyroid, the pancreas, sex organs. And yeah, so she goes over basically how they came about all of this science and how they figured it out. And a lot of it was just due to testing on animals, testing on uh, cadavers and, um, you know, storage of information. So, um, and then she goes into charlatans and all kinds of stuff. So there's people in quackery, like people um, capitalizing on these new findings or this like the tip of the spear uh, findings and then kind of saying, hey, we have this... Uh, substance that will do this exact same thing or we have this procedure that will do this exact same thing so for example there was this guy who uh, found substantial evidence that if you give a rat a vasectomy they become more vibrant uh they have more libido they're more uh you know energized they're just rocking and rolling rocking and rolling rats anyways so he found this and then he uh he purported to a surgeon or whatever, hey, start doing this because it's going to increase men's energy. It's going to help them become more manly. Manly. So, so she goes into yeah, how like people will will use these like this barely substantial amount of science and then use it for capital gain. So, and then a lot of people like got injured or died or all kinds of stuff. So, it was not a uh, a light book by any uh, stretch of the imagination. So. Also goes into, um, yeah, vasectomies. It goes into in vitro. It goes into hermaphrodites. It goes in. There was a really sad story about um, inside the hermaphrodite chapter where it was Brian. He was born Brian, and hermaphrodites are born with both sex organs. And the uh, the parents had Brian or whatever for a few years, and they had they had him as a man, and then they were uh, persuaded to make Brian Bonnie and then um and they hid all the information and then later as uh as an older I think adult uh, Bonnie who was Brian finds out she was Brian and he just felt or he or she felt Bonnie felt the individual felt um lied to and yeah I mean I could sympathize with that empathize with that 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 would seem like everything that you experienced up until that moment was not really true and it, it was deceitful and stuff like that so uh it was crazy and then there was also moments with the mother where she was like i lost my son i lost like after i after we chose this other side and changed the name and did all these things like that person's not there anymore sort of 
So it's a complicated thing. And uh, it was really, um, you know, just insightful in a way. And you kind of get to see, you don't get yourself immersed in those situations um, by any stretch of the imagination. Like it's uh, it's like 0.4%. So like a million people across the United States, like not a lot of people in the grand scheme of things. So um, I thought it was just valuable in a sense just to be put in that scenario and understand and kind of see and reflect on what was going on. So, so yeah, so she goes into that. She goes into growth hormone and there were the, there was these parents that were um, trying to find growth hormone to help their son. Their son was super tiny. So they were just traveling all across the nation trying to figure out growth hormone. It was a crazy story too. Like she, one of the things um, that is most noticeable is that there's nuance isn't has a negative connotation, but I'm not using it negatively. So it's just like, um, very precise precision studies that are applicable to the circumstance and the hormone that she's talking about and all of course all up and down history so it was really cool not negative at all um and then she goes into menopause she goes into testosterone and the beginning of that and how it was found and then how it turned into a billion dollar image industry similar to like people just capitalizing on these um scientific findings and stuff like that so also goes into oxytocin and then she she also ends on transitioning like intersex so intersex and uh transitioning and that was a a reoccurring topic too so if that interests you you should check that out too um and then she actually she ends on obesity which was crazy too because there's um this was a useful book um there was a lot of stuff on it um and it was just it was a short book and she did well with it and I think there's stuff to take away from it. Um, but I found myself popping in and out, reading other books um, besides this one. So I don't think it's uh, a bad book at all. It's just, you know, it was um, some, of the, some of the topics were hard and then sometimes I find it difficult to relate to people that I don't know. So it's like they they say, Hey, this person, um, blah, 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 X, Y, Z, um, grew up, went to Yale, did all these things, saved all these things. And then like, there's this long story and narrative to it. And I find myself, um, just not caring as much. So you got to really pay attention. You got to like, just be ready for it. And so you can kind of dip and dive in between these chapters too, which was a little bit better. And, um, yeah, so they're just small stories immersed with endocrinology, which was cool. And I, I think um, if the human body fascinates you, that's why I got the book, um, I think you will take away from this. So it's aroused. Um, big fan of it. Uh, it was just, it was a lot of stories, man, and a lot of um, just personalized um, nuances. And I don't mean that in a negative, negative light at all. So Randy, Randy Hunter or Hunter Epstein, my bad. Um, yeah, so check it out if you like. One of the coolest uh, covers I've seen, and it always catches my eye. Like if it's sitting on my desk, and I just boom, it pops. It just pops. So it's like that's what it looks like. So um, check it out if you like. Um, if you want a different book as well, I just or want to know about any other books. I just reviewed Nine Pints. Um, that one's about blood. That one's a little bit more accessible, just because it's uh, it's about blood and not about the people that discovered the blood per se. So it's more of, um, these are more biographical and nuanced. And then Nine Pines is more of a, uh, centrifuge of the organ itself, blood. So anyways, if you want to know more about hormones, check this out. If you want to know more about blood, check out Nine Pints. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to review us. Uh, don't forget to follow us on social media. Let me know what you're watching, what you're reading. Um, uh, any good stuff coming, uh, or you've seen that I should check out. Uh, but yeah, this has been Matthew Benjamin with the American Movement Podcast. Uh, thanks, folks. Until next time. Bye, 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 bye. After all, someone has to pay for the uh, lap dances for the big guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's joking around. <laughs> yeah. Who feels so good when he jokes?